Do you want your Ableton to look super cool like this? Or maybe like this? Or maybe just a slightly modified color palette like the one I use? All of you people have been asking me in every video how did I get my Ableton pink? So I'm gonna tell you, because it's really easy, it's free, and this is not sponsored. This is a website made by a random guy on Reddit. So you're gonna go into livethemes.app. I recommend you log in so you can customize the themes even more. But if you go into browse themes, you have so many to choose from. It loads a bit slowly, but here are some examples of some cool ones I found. Unfortunately, from these thumbnails, you can't really see what it's gonna be like. So you have to click on it and see how it would look set up on Ableton, because see? This is blue and this seems like it would be white. So yeah, I recommend you click on all of them. So imagine you really love this theme, you don't want to change anything. You're gonna click download. Super easy. And you're gonna get this .ask file. You're gonna copy it. For Mac, you wanna go to Applications, right click on Ableton Live Suite, Show Package Contents, Contents, App Resources, Themes, and you're gonna paste that file into Themes. Apparently I already had it. If you are on Windows, you're gonna go to your C drive, Program Data, Ableton, Ableton, Resources, and Themes, and you paste it into there. And you don't even need to refresh Ableton or close it. You go into Settings, Theme and Colors, Theme, and it's gonna be here. This is the one I just downloaded. By the way, these themes do not change the colors that are available for the tracks, which sucks a bit, but I mean, I think these colors are really cute. They look good with any theme. Now, my theme, I made custom, so I'm gonna show you how to do that. You're gonna go to a theme you like, but you want to change something. So you click on Remix, and now you can select any color on here and change it. So imagine these buttons, I want them to have a different color. I want them to be orange. Now, in the background, I want it to be blue. This color, I want it to be pink. And you can just change literally everything. And then once you have your theme and it's perfect, you love it, you're gonna go to next theme details and you're gonna save it. It's important that you save it before you download it or it will not be saved and if you want to make any changes you're gonna have to start from the beginning. Then you gotta go back into edit, these three dots, export theme and then you do the same thing as before and now it's gonna show up here. I do have a warning, this part where it is meant to change every four bars like it has a slightly different color it doesn't really show up properly on this like see if i put it bright green you can't tell it stays the same purple so just watch out for that because it will show up in your program i have an example of this here is one of those themes that i customized and i didn't realize that this color would be this really ugly purple. So then I had to go back in and change it so it would be a slightly lighter pink. So what I recommend for that, because you're not going to be able to see it, is use the eyedrop tool and get that color and then just move it a tiny bit. Like make it a little bit darker or something and that's going to be enough. Less is more here, because if the change is too drastic, it's gonna look bad. I'm gonna warn you of another issue with this site, which is kind of annoying. Um, you see when I highlight stuff, like the grey blocks stay grey and they don't turn pink? It's meant to turn pink, because here, 
I've got the selection background set as that, but for some reason those blocks don't. But this only happens with some themes, because other themes they do turn colors. When selected, like see this, everything turns that color. I don't understand. I don't understand why that happens. It's annoying. See? I mean, you get used to it, but whatever. So yeah, that's it. Just a really quick tutorial. I hope it was useful. If anyone finds a solution for the selection background thing, please let me know. If you're new here, I usually make beat making videos so if you want to check out those videos that would be really cool and if not i hope this video was useful to you so thank you so much and see you in the next one